Welcome to Car Coach Reports. This is 4 Minute Friday for the week of February 19th. This week we'll be discussing cobalt and electric vehicles and why they're not so politically correct. We'll also discuss subscription services and your automobile. And finally, we'll go over potholes, those gigantic holes in the road that could suck up a Mini Cooper. Stay right with us. First topic is cobalt. Now, cobalt is a part of batteries in electric vehicles. Now, why is it important? It is mandatory in order to make your electric vehicle get some range. However, where does cobalt come from? It's coming from the Congo and sadly it's strip mined by children. And this was brought to light by Amnesty International as well as the BBC. So a lot of manufacturers such as Apple and Microsoft have distanced themselves from cobalt or even talking about that and looking for a replacement material. But car manufacturers have not done that yet. This is something we're gonna be watching because politically the last thing you wanna tie your brand to is something that's absolutely environmentally unfriendly and of course, child labor laws. Topic number two, subscription services and your car. Now you know subscription services if you've got you know Shave Club for Men or maybe you get coffee pods that come every month or maybe you go to Amazon, we're all used to that. You sign up for it, it comes every month and when you don't want it anymore, you end it. Well, this is now coming to the automotive industry. So the first one at the top of the list is Volvo. So what Volvo has done is we're calling it something similar to a short-term lease. But in reality, if you've got a lease, you can't get out of it. You're stuck with it. You can't buy your way out of it. You kind of have to figure out what to do. So here's something that's interesting. What if after one year you said, you know what? I don't like this car anymore. It doesn't meet my needs. I want something more. You can go back to Volvo and they'll take the vehicle back and get you something else. So it's a two year term and what's included is pretty impressive, maintenance and insurance. So the only expense on you is gasoline. I think that's pretty cool. And I think this is a trend you're gonna start seeing with other brands. Other brands have discussed this, but the cool thing about it is for one flat price, that's all you're gonna pay other than gasoline. Now to give you an idea what those prices are, the brand new Volvo XC40 is coming in at $600 all in, $600 a month. You can keep it for up to a year, and after one year, you can do what you wanna do. You can switch it up or keep the vehicle just like your cell phone when you get bored with it, you move on to another vehicle. If you prefer the all-wheel drive version, it's $700 a month. It's kinda of neat. So it's miles restricted to 15,000 miles a year, but you know what? That fits a lot of people's needs. So next time you go to buy a car, look into subscription services. They're going to get more popular just like everything else in our life. And it's nice to see the automobile industry come up to the today's standards. We're so used to just picking up the phone and having instant satisfaction. Now you can have a car do the same for you. Topic number three is potholes. Not my favorite subject, but I can't tell you how many roads I've been on across this country. And no matter whether they're north, south, or east and west roads, there are gigantic potholes. And that's because of the heating and cooling. It gets cold, it warms up, and the asphalt starts to break up. Now in Europe, they don't have as much of a problem because they repair their roads properly. But here in the US, we tend to just fill it with some loose, gravel and hope that a bunch of cars will go by and fill it in. Well, what's happening is these potholes are getting bigger and bigger. I drove by one the other day that was enough to suck up a Mini Cooper. Now the damage that I've seen from cars, including some of the vehicles that we've test driven, is damaged rims, flat tires, damage to chassis and suspension. The damage is so bad. The problem is, for you, it comes out of your pocket. You can't go after the town or the city. The bottom line is these things are not going away and once they're repaired in the spring, hopefully the roads will get smooth again. So maybe find a different path in order to get to your destination. So if you have to drive through a pothole and you're stuck, keep your wheel straight, slow down, go in it, go out of it. Hopefully you won't have any damage. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, click the subscribe button and that little button next to it and we'll notify you next time a video gets posted. And if you want to sign up for our newsletter, it's at carcoachreports.com. Check out our Patreon page. We appreciate your support and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.